Right now at noon, sources confirm to CBS News Philadelphia that the remains of all six people have now been found in East Lansdowne. It follows a shooting and a fire at a home in that community. This has been a tragic loss for a local family. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. We'll have more on that new information in just a moment from the scene. But first, we want to show you these photos of the family that were sent to us this morning. They show Sue Lee, Brittany McLaughlin Lee, Xavier Lee, Natalia Lee, and Nikayla Lee. In a statement, the McLaughlin family says they will cherish the memories of their loved ones. They say they are grateful for people's prayers during such a difficult time, and they're asking for privacy while they process this loss. We want to turn now to Chief Investigative Reporter Joe Holden. He's live in East Lansdowne with an update on that recovery operation. Good afternoon, Joe. Jim, good afternoon, and our sources confirming that all six bodies have been located and have been recovered and are now at the medical examiner's office in Media, Delaware County. This, of course, effectively wrapping up a very grim part of this overall investigation as we see some machinery continuing to sift through what is left of 58 Lewis Avenue here in East Lansdowne. Once again, all of the remains located and removed from this crime scene. Autopsies will now happen as prosecutors work to determine how each died. Detectives have faced dangerous conditions in their work to recover members of the Lee family. In their search, they did locate a rifle, as we've been reporting. Sources say it's believed that was the firearm used to shoot at responding officers from East Lansdowne and Lansdowne on Wednesday afternoon. We know that the shootings happened, of course, around 3.45 on Wednesday, the house then erupting into flames. Black smoke seen rising into the air for hours as the fire burned out of control until police determined there was no longer any threat to their officers or neighbors here. If you'll recall, investigators presumed all six members of the Lee family did not survive. Investigators also said they may never know who the shooter was, but as time does go on and interviews are conducted with other surviving members, members of the Lee family, as well as an analysis of evidence, the recovered rifle, and a review of 911 calls, there is the hope they'll be able to say who was responsible. The entire incident has rocked the William Penn School District. Children from the Lee family attended elementary, middle, and high school. The gravity of loss is now, of course, setting in here in East Lansdowne. We are expecting to hear from District Attorney Jack Stolsteimer with an update on where their investigation stands. We also expect that the District Attorney will tell us, uh, in fact, that they have made all of those complete recoveries. And again, this very grim portion of the investigation has wrapped up. That is the latest for now. We are live in East Lansdowne. This is Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia. Thank you, Joe, for that update. Delaware County District Attorney's Office says the last remaining hospitalized officer is expected to be discharged this afternoon. He's 44-year-old John Meehan of the East Lansdowne Police Department. Meehan's being treated at Penn Presbyterian Medical Center for a gunshot wound to his arm. Chopper 3 was over that hospital yesterday as Lansdowne Police Officer David Shiaza headed home. He was shot in the leg. Shiaza is a 22-year veteran of the force. And, of course, stay with CBS News Philadelphia for continuing coverage of the investigation in East Lansdowne. You can always get the latest on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com.